The Lagos State Government has consistently updated its residents about the efforts of the state and today was no different. The Governor Babajide Somolu in his brief today touched on a number of salient issues. One was the need to decongest mortuaries in Lagos State. The COVID-19 lockdown coincided with the end of the Lent season, which caused many families and households to further suspend or put off their funeral plans. Because of this inability to hold funerals, occasioned by the restriction on movement, our mortuaries in Lagos State are now getting to the peak, and there's a need for us to have a decongestion. Let me make it clear that these are not COVID-19 deaths in any form. The only reason the mortuaries are getting filled up is because funerals have not been held in the last two months or thereabouts. Let me now make it clear that funerals are on the list of activities exempted from the lockdown restriction. You can hold or attend your funeral ceremony in Lagos State as long as you comply with the requirements that we have laid down. The governor also announced that he signed a release order for 209 inmates remanded in various correctional centers in the state. In exercise of my powers confined on me by Section 212 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended, I have this afternoon, following the recommendation of the Advisory Council of Prerogative of Mercy, signed a release order releasing 209 inmates reminded in our various correctional centers in Lagos. The number of COVID-19 cases in Lagos State has risen to 670. This was said by the governor who gave updates as regards the fight against the virus in the state. As at midnight yesterday, April 24, 2020, Lagos has a total of 670 confirmed cases of COVID-19, an increase about 278 cases within the last four or five days. These numbers demonstrate the following. One, that we are firmly in the community transmission phase of this pandemic in Lagos. This is not the time for us to relax or slow down in the efforts to making our total effort at breaking the chain of transmission of the COVID-19. However, on an uplifting note, yesterday, I'm sure you are aware that we discharged a total of about 10 patients. Today, I'm aware that some other patients too are being certified right now and they'll be discharged later today. The efforts of the state government is commendable as we hope the citizens abide with the existing laws concerning the lockdown. Adebanke Odunui, reporting for Plus TV Africa.